The real issue about false narrative and disinformation is that it includes some of the authentic material that is used in the wrong context. So for example, when a journalist offers a different narrative presented by a powerful mainstream media, the person should be very confident and strong enough with enough credibility and knowledge to confront the attack, particularly on his persona, because this is where they start. And then you have insult and then attempt to discredit the individual on many platforms, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. So there is a price that one should be prepared to pay because it means the person will be isolated, will have less job opportunity among those who claim they are the elite, who ignore his work or her work, because the aim is to discredit this person because he is discrediting their false narrative or offering another perspective. So in this business, we really live in a kind of a jungle far from civilization because there is no mercy in this battle they, because there is no accountability for false narrative because everybody is saying the same because everybody belongs to the same club of disinformator. So there are violation of human rights, no freedom of press, no honesty in de delivering the right information. There is a manipulation of the information and it's all built on false narrative and very powerful machine of disinformation. 